Beautiful day for most around the valley. Let's check in with our first alert meteorologist, Justin Fanfarelli, for a look at what we're in for this week. Yeah, thank you, Beth, and good evening, everybody. Let's start off with our first alert sky cam at Home of Economy in Grand Forks. And we do have partly cloudy skies as the sun is setting now. They got more sunshine into the northern valley in northwestern Minnesota. More clouds off to the south. Let's take a look at the high temperatures across the region for today. Uh, we were into the mid to upper 60s, Jamestown to Devil's Lake, mid 60s into Lakes Country, but up and down the Red River Valley, close to 70 degrees. That is normal for this time of year, but some lower 60s as you make your way Fargo points off to the south. That's where they did have the clouds and the rain showers. Here's a look at the current temperatures. Now uh, we do have some mid 50s down toward Sisseton across most of Lakes Country and from Jamestown South toward the South Dakota border. Most everybody else though currently into the lower 60s. Wind speeds mainly from a southerly direction. Now that is a, a little bit of a cooler flow than if we had a southerly wind. So uh, temperatures not really uh, that warm compared to where we will be later on this week. So uh, winds across the region between 5 and 15 miles per hour and you can still see we do have some areas where it's trying to clear out across northwestern Minnesota especially Bemidji points off to the north uh, with partly to mostly cloudy skies most everywhere else and we are still tracking the, those rain showers uh, from Wapaton and points off to the south just some light rain showers or some light drizzle we are definitely on the northern fringe of this system here. We have a low just off to our south. So from Sioux Falls to Minneapolis, just some rain from this one with the severe weather now between Omaha and Des Moines. So let's take a look at the uh, surface map. There's that low. It is exiting uh, portions of our viewing area, especially across Lakes Country. Could have some clouds overnight, but that high is working its way in and we are clearing out nicely and temperatures are going to be down a few degrees. Uh, we're going to be into the mid 40s tonight because of that more of a northerly flow. So here's what it looks like on the hour by hour forecast with the most cloud cover, maybe a, a passing rain shower. It looks like most of the rain is coming to an end though, especially across lakes country and then mostly sunny skies through the day on Sunday with high temperatures in most places into the upper 60s and lower 70s. A high of 72 in Fargo with mostly sunny skies. We will keep that easterly wind, so a little bit of a cool direction. Wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles per hour tomorrow, so a light breeze outside of the Red River Valley, mainly into the upper 60s for highs as we stay dry. Monday, we again start off into the mid, maybe some upper 40s on the map, and a lot of sunshine for Monday. We have a disturbance well off to our west that's going to stay off to our west uh, as we start next week. So we're going to have a lot of sunshine with warming temperatures as most of us are into the low to mid 70s for Monday. Here's your photo of the day. It's called Sunset on Blue Lake in Park Rapids. Park Rapids. Thank you to Julie for this one. Using the background of the seven day forecast up to 81 for Tuesday and 84 for Wednesday. It will be breezy to windy, but mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Now a slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. Slightly better chance on Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy skies to round out the work week as we stay near 80 degrees. All right, thank you so much, Justin. Well, still ahead tonight, how a local business is helping families put food on the table.